Hi, I'm Jay Rogers, Vice President of Business and Community Development at Delta Community Credit Union. Welcome to Executive Insights, brought to you by Delta Community's Financial Education Center. Today, I'm joined by our Chief Executive Officer, Hank Halter. Hank, welcome. Thanks. Great to be here. So, Hank, not all financial institutions are created equally, and choosing where to do your banking is one of the most important financial decisions that any person will make. Mm -hmm. So what sets Delta Community apart from other banks and credit unions? Right. I think, Jay, you said it um, early. You said membership means more. And I think that's really the critical factor here. Membership does mean more at Delta Community. And I think it starts with the value or the value proposition we have with our members. Mm -hmm. As Georgia's largest credit union, we're able to offer significant value to our members. Uh, we offer 32 full service branches, for example. We have 24 hour member care, so any time of the day or night, uh, 365 days a year, our members can contact a live person and receive assistance for their unique banking needs. Mm -hmm. And that's important when you consider how your membership is, is really so global now. Our members are traveling around the world and having connectivity to their financial partner is so critical. Um, I think another thing that really sets us apart and improves that value proposition for our members is the constant investment we're making in our products and services. Yes. Um, with such a large membership, um, we have members that have a lot of unique, diverse needs. And being able to constantly innovate and invest in those tools for our members is really so critical and uh, further sets Delta Community apart. Yes, and that's what I'm proud of, is the innovation that we've been able to do right, at Delta exactly. Community. Yes. Well, the last two years have been very difficult for so many of our members and yeah. our employees. What do you think the biggest challenges um, that we faced as a credit union, and what are some of our focus areas that we're looking for towards the future? Sure. You know, you think about the past two years, the pandemic affected everybody, you know, every person, family, business, community. Um, I think for Delta Community, our biggest focus was business continuity. Mm -hmm. You know, at a time of crisis, our members needed us most. Yes. They needed their sound financial partner, and Delta Community was right there. So having business continuity, having access to our resources, having those contacts, those live people to talk to mm -hmm. was so critical. And we ensured that we had that solid business continuity every step of the way for the past 24 plus months, uh, since really since March of 2020. And I think the other thing that's important to recognize is during the pandemic, many financial institutions had to close their doors. And not only financial institutions, many businesses did, but Delta Community did not. We were there and we balanced the safeguards for our employees and their members to enhance and allow that constant communication. Um, you know, and we kept innovating in products and services. Um, think about the Paycheck Protection Program. Yes. Um, we were one of the early uh, implementers of that in Georgia. Um, when the Small Business Administration announced that program, we moved very quickly because we knew that our small business members truly needed those funds. They needed to stay alive and they needed that help and Delta Community was there very, very quickly. We helped so many people during that time period. We sure it did. It was amazing. We did. And you touched also on some of the other credit unions or even financial institutions mm -hmm. in general who did close their doors. They did. Some came back and some did not. That's right. Um, but we're, we didn't do that. We continued to open up new well, branches. Well, in fact, we did open new branches. Yes. And at Delta Community, um, I'd say over the past six, seven years, we've been averaging one to one and a half new branches a year. So branch expansion is still very important for Delta Community. And you're right, during the pandemic, um, we opened one um, additional expansion branch. We also relocated a branch uh, during that time. And you're right, we did stay open throughout the entire pandemic. Yes, and so what is Delta Community's strategy when it comes to, to branches in general? Mm -hmm. We see the branch as just a logical extension of one of the many channels you can choose to use when you want to bank with Delta Community. Um, we offer 32 full service branches. Um, we're also looking to expand, so we're not done with 32 branches. We recognize that many of our members, particularly our young members, mm -hmm. they prefer to not bank in a, a brick and mortar branch, but they want to know and they're choosing Delta Community because we have that channel available for them when they do need it. Mm -hmm. um, but we're also constantly innovating and investing in those remote tools, banking online, banking with your, your phone, um, and enhancing the availability of that product. It's much more than just checking your balance. It's making remote deposits. Um, it's in, in innovating by offering Zelle, for instance. So, you know, how you pay for your purchases, mm -hmm. how you move money around. Um, but our branch footprint is still a very important element of our 
uh, channels. Yes. So you'll continue to see Delta community continue investing in those branches. And you may not come to our branch very often, but you'll also know that the branch is available for you when you need it. That's very true. Mm -hmm. And I know with some departments within Delta community, mm -hmm. we have employees that are out in the field, if you will, talking to some of our members. That's right. Folks who might even be prospective members of the credit union. Right. And so when we're looking at and, and talking to those folks, they're always asking us, when are you going to open up another branch? Or when are you going to open up a branch out in our community? That's right. So how do we determine where our branches will be located? Oh, that's a very good question. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the ways we uh, analyze the area is we look at where are our existing members mm -hmm. and then what's the distance between our existing members and a physical branch. Mm -hmm. uh, but then we also look at opportunities as you know you think about Metro Atlanta it's a very vibrant community. Um, I've lived in Atlanta over 20 years and over those 20 years how Atlanta has grown. Yes. Um, you know we operate branches as far north as Hall County north of Atlanta far south um, below the airport mm -hmm. um, and many points in between but you know when you you think about a branch it's it's a logical extension of your products and services so you choose to put one where it can best serve your existing members and where your potential members are. Yes, definitely. And, and you mentioned it, uh, where our members are all around the metropolitan Atlanta area. And so are we planning to open branches far and wide? Or are we going to stay within this Metro Atlanta 26 county yeah, region? Yeah, no, that's, that's a great question. And, you know, we get that question often. We have members that live across the United States and we have members that live across the globe. You know, today's world is, you know, focused on transportation and getting around. And with the excellent communication tools and devices we have, people are very, very mobile. So that's a, an excellent question. Um, our strategy right now is to keep the physical footprint and growing in Metro Atlanta. However, we're investing in tools to enhance the value for our members that live outside of Metro Atlanta. You know, the interactive teller machines or ITMs, yes. where we've invested in those and we're rolling those out now, uh, we call them live tellers. Mm. But it basically gives you additional access, something that a traditional ATM cannot do. But we're looking to put those in areas where today we don't have a branch. But what that does is that live teller uh, actually provides very uh, similar experience to a branch. So we'll continue doing that to enhance that value proposition for our members that don't live near a branch, particularly in Metro Atlanta. That's going to make it so much more available to people who aren't comfortable going to a branch and really want other options in order right. to do their banking. And also that. where their schedule doesn't dovetail with traditional yes. branch hours. Mm -hmm. Our live tellers um, really serve as a, a branch extension uh, before the branch opens or after the branch closes. Mm -hmm. uh, so that gives you know, our members that have different work schedules than what a traditional branch operation schedule might be, gives them that connectivity opportunity. I love the innovation, that we keep thinking yeah. about what the future holds for all of our members That's and for right. our employees to serve them. That's right. And mm -hmm. thanks to the size and scale of Delta community, we have the resources to continue investing. And, and fortunately, during the pandemic, we were able to still continue investing and roll out new tools. You know, early in the pandemic, you know, they say timing is everything. Yeah. Um, we uh, rolled out a new tool to enhance the ability for our members and prospective members to open an account at Delta community. Through that tool, most of those applicants did not have to come into a branch to open an account. Mm. They could do it completely through the remote online channel. Um, but in addition, they were also able to apply for loans and take advantage of other products that before we rolled and introduced that product, um, they would have had to go into a branch to do. So mm. excellent, we continue investing and innovating. Yes, much easier. That's great. That's right. So switching topics just a little mm -hmm. bit. Georgia's economy is predicted to experience strong growth again in 2022, but there are still concerns around employment, the economy, mm -hmm. housing, and health care, according to the University of Georgia's economic outlook. But how can credit unions help alleviate some of our members' financial stress? Sure. Well, first of all, financial stress is normal. We're human, and stress makes, you know, uncertainty makes people stressed and uncomfortable. Um, but Delta Community has many ways we can help alleviate uh, some of that stress. Mm -hmm. You know, first of all, as I mentioned earlier, we have 32 full-service branches. You know, we welcome our members to come in and ask for advice and counsel. Uh, you know, coming in and getting guidance on what kind of loan product might be best my individual situation. That's a stressful decision to make. We're here to help. So our branches can help with that. Um, you know, something else is we provide many tools to our members, uh, full service connectivity 24 hours a day. They can call a live person. 
Uh, we offer the Financial Education Center. That's another good example. And anyone watching this video uh, is on our Financial Education Center. You know, education is power. Uh, when you think about education and the tools that we offer, we offer tremendous opportunities to help bring down that stress. Um, I also think of education as something that, you know, isn't one and done. You know, we offer educational classes for young individuals, you know, the basics of money. Um, we offer courses on managing a credit score. What is a credit score? How do I improve it? Why is it important? We offer budgeting courses. Then for individuals thinking about buying a car, or buying a home, all the decisions that go along with that, we have courses to help with those decisions. Uh, we have courses you know, throughout life advising on IRAs and retirement readiness. You know, it's not only when you're ready retire, to retire that you think about taking those courses, you should be thinking about them now while you're still working. So I think there's many different tools and, and products and services that we offer our members that are uniquely special to Delta community that can help uh, alleviate some of that stress and uncertainty that our members face in their everyday life. Thank you for mentioning the Financial Education Center. It's a, it's, a, it's a program that I know we're very proud of mm -hmm. um, because when members are afraid to possibly talk to a partner or their parents, we are an outlet for them. That's and right. they can ask the, the questions that they will probably be embarrassed by, but we make them feel comfortable and mm -hmm. let them know that they're not alone. No. Right? And that's exactly why we came up with all of those topics that you mentioned earlier, from well, budgeting to retirement. You're absolutely right. They're so important. Mm -hmm. And again, recognizing that education never stops. Never. Education is power. Yeah. And you know we can help our members take advantage of that through our financial education center. Yes, that's fantastic. So I don't know about you, but the last 24 months have really felt like a roller coaster. Sure and, has. And That's the craziest funny. thing is that the hot topics that we all experienced, we experienced together, right? Mm -hmm. And those topics range from the changes in the workplace, which I know that we've experienced at Delta Community, or COVID-19, or racial injustice, mm -hmm. um, or even the uncertainty within the housing market. Right. I mean, that's still sure. a hot topic today. And so by naming just those few, do you feel that credit unions have a responsibility to serve as a corporate citizen within the communities that I think they're privileged to serve. I most definitely do. And I think it's not just credit unions. I think it's all companies. You know, we're all in this together. Um, but Delta community in particular recognizes the importance of investing in the communities and use the right word, privilege, mm -hmm. that we're privileged to serve. Um, and we annually invest nearly a million dollars in dozens of worthwhile organizations, uh, whether it be nonprofit organizations, um, uh, elementary, middle school, high schools, colleges. Um, you know, our mission is to help our members get more out of their financial lives. And because our members live and work in those communities, it's really incumbent upon us to invest in those communities. And when we provide things like education, uh, scholarships, um, financial assistance to help organizations help others, that's improving the community. And if that community improves, it benefits our members. Yes, it definitely does. And I don't know if you know this, but every time I do a, a public speaking engagement, mm -hmm. I always quote you. So I'll say, when our uh, CEO talks mm -hmm. to our employees and even to other business partners, one of the things you always say is if our communities thrive, our members thrive. Absolutely. When our members thrive, we thrive That's as right. a credit union. And so people understand that. It's That's that right. simple that we all need to make an investment. We all do. And, and that investment goes a long way and it really pays dividends yeah. a long way forward. Yeah, I like that. So my final question for you is, yeah. and this is, I think is a really, um, it's an, it's an interesting question, but I think it's one that so many people can learn from. Mm -hmm. And that is, um, would you please share the best financial advice that you've ever received or learned? Yeah, and I think that financial advice that, that I would classify as the best is always think ahead. You know, and, and you know, I like budgeting. Not a lot of people like budgeting, but I enjoy <laughs> it. But budgeting is a form of thinking ahead. Yeah. And you know, always think that there's gonna be some unknown ahead. You know, so as you're managing your finances today, be thinking about something could come down the pike. Um, I might need a new vehicle. I need to do something to my home, or maybe I need a repair. Mm -hmm. um, I don't have that today, so it's not on top of mind, but recognize there's some uncertainty down the road, and always be cognizant of that coming. And it doesn't mean that you have to set aside money or enough money for it, but know how you might finance that if you were in that situation. So thinking ahead, I think, is one of the, the greatest and simplest 
uh, lessons I've learned over my years. Yeah, that's a great lesson. Sure. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, Hank, for sharing your executive insight today. It's my pleasure. Thank you. And thank you very much for watching this segment of Executive Insights. And if you would like more information about Delta Community, please visit our website at deltacommunitycu.com. And if you'd like to attend any of our Financial Education Center workshops, please also visit deltacommunitycu.com forward slash financial education. Thank you.